So the next thing you'll need is this fluffy, feathery, well it's not really feathery, um, but it almost looks like I, what I would describe as a miniature boa. Small black pipe cleaners. I got these from Dollar Tree. And then larger pipe cleaners. You can get these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. These cat ears from the Dollar Tree. It says headband from Basic Solutions. You'll need this feathery boa, but only two pieces, and they're about um, four or five inches. You can see one of them is a little bit longer, but it really doesn't matter. So I've already gone ahead and spray painted my um, headband black. As you can see, this is basically what it looked like before, this is after. Um, I didn't worry about getting the ears perfect. I was mostly worried about um, the headband itself. Um, and that will make more sense later on. You will need four triangles for your cat ears. Two black, mine are um, satin material, but you could also use black felt. And then I have pink felt for the inside of the ears. To measure it, you use the headband as a stencil. And it is the size of the inside of the ear. As you can see, it almost looks like it's not long enough on mine. It's not really a big deal because um, you're not going to see it. And then this square, square, this triangle is just a tad bit larger. And that is like the outside size um, so that you don't see the pink from the back. It'll make more sense later on. <laughs> so now with your satin pieces, your black triangles, have the shiny side facing downwards, like on the table, and the less pretty side up facing towards you because um, the shiny side is going to be the back of your cat ears and you're not going to see the less shiny side. So let's go ahead and do that. Taking my hot glue gun. And you want to make sure that your triangles are going in the same direction. With the black one and the pink one. So I'm just going to put a very small amount hot glue in a triangle on that and glue it to the center of the black trying to work fairly quickly your larger pipe cleaner and as you can see I began to twist it around the frame of the cat ears. Be sure and tuck in the metal end of the pipe cleaners because you don't want that little tip poking your head. That would be quite painful. So just twist it around fairly tight, um, snug, I would say snug. And I'll probably speed it on up and I'll see you when it's done. This part, not the whole thing.
taking your smaller pipe cleaner. I got mine at the Dollar Tree. Um, go ahead and twist it around the same way that we did um, the frame. Be very gentle with the Dollar Tree um, pipe cleaner. I've noticed that it kind of sheds a little bit when you're in the process of making something. I'm going to take my glue gun again and very carefully glue right on um, the ear. Taking one of my triangles, kind of have to turn it around and glue it like this so that I can see where the pink is going so that I place it correctly. Holding it down all over so that it stays. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so taking those two pipe cleaners that are about five and a half inches um, that I mentioned earlier, you're gonna take those, as you can tell that I've put them into like a triangle or like a hill kind of shape so that they go over um, our ears and we're going to glue them. I'm gonna add some glue very lightly on one half of the triangle. I'm taking my pipe cleaner very carefully, applying it to the ear. Just as a little side note, um, it's okay that the pipe cleaner is a little bit longer than the actual like ear here. Um, I did that so that it hid any imperfections that I may have made or it just it just makes it look um, a little more professional I think and it's, I'm gonna bend it up for just a second and I'm gonna do the other portion of it be careful not to let the hot glue seep out. That's why I tried to do just just a tiny bit of glue. So the next step is to take our little fuzzy feathers and we're going to glue those on. I'm just going to glue them on to the back. Oops. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot glue again and just do it on the um, bottom of this ear right here, right above the fuzzy part on the headband. Just a very small amount. Take my fluffy stuff and press down. And I tried my best to center it as well. some of this fluffy feather and I'm going to glue it to the center in between the two ears just to make it look like I didn't just glue it behind the ears. Um, just a very small amount of glue right there. So just a little dollop. 
I'm going to very quickly take some of my feathers and just place them there to give the kitty a little poof of fur right there. Alright, so as you can tell, I went in and added some more of that black, larger um, pipe cleaner to the sides just because um, when it was cut off here on me, it was making me look a little square. It just didn't look right. So I went in and added some more of this pipe cleaner. I did end up adding some more of the, the feathers, um, the little boa that I have on the sides. Um, just to kind of elongate it so it didn't feel so cut off. But that is the finished cat ears. Well, the first thing you're going to need for this DIY are some alligator clips. You only need one for this particular DIY. I got these alligator clips at um, Ace Hardware because um, they're technically for electrical. Don't ask me how, but um, that's where you'll find them is Ace in the electrical section. Once you've figured out just by like holding it about how much length you want for your tail, go ahead and measure it out with the ruler so you know how much to cut off basically. You also have to put some of the fluffy material into this so you want to have that little bit of extra fluff just in case. Extra bit of the string. Extra bit of this boa. Alright, so now what we're going to do Taking some scissors, we're going to just go ahead and cut it. Alright, so taking our scissors, I'm going to cut off some of the feathery feathers here so that we are closer to the string that's on the underneath. Be careful not to cut off the feathers that you actually want. I'm only going to do about uh, a quarter of an inch. I might have to take off more, but I want to start less. Just going to dispose of those feathers before they get everywhere. So now we have more of the string here. Okay, I think that's about ready. So now I am going to take a very small amount of my E6000 inside where that little hole is and where we're going to um, clamp this metal part around our boa. Just for some like added, oh, and I accidentally put a little more than I wanted, but that's okay because we're gonna work with it. This boa that we've trimmed up here Go ahead and stick it in my alligator clip as far down as you can. I want to make sure that those little tips are around it so that you can squeeze it. But you might want to wear plastic gloves. take my needle nose pliers and 
right on those two metal tips. I'm going to squeeze it. We're gonna try again. We're going to squeeze down. into the glue a little more without having to actually touch it. So this is just another option of what you can do. Um, to make these like little fluffy ankle bracelets, I did the exact same thing as we did to make the tails, only I made them the size of my ankle and clipped them around my ankle. Next up, I'll show you how I make this really cute fluffy bracelet. Um, the next couple of items are optional, but I just think that they add something a little extra to your cat costume. Today I'm going to be using some black ribbon. Um, this ribbon looks to be about a couple inches wide, however that's a little too wide for me. So um, first I'm going to measure the widest part of my fist, if I make a fist, and I measure that. Right, just like remembering where the end is there, I am going to cut it. You can use any ribbon. I'm using black so that it you can't see it very well. And then I am going to cut this in half just because I want a smaller ribbon and this is what I have. Um, I just want it thick enough so that I can glue my boa onto it. So there's what I have now. Alright, so my ribbon that I cut measures to about nine and a half inches. Um, you want to make sure that when you cut it you are able to overlap it. Like for instance, I'm able to overlap mine about an inch to it. Well, about an inch. And I can still get it on my wrist even after I glue it. So keeping that in mind, now I'm going to cut my boa. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my boa about 9 inches. Okay, so now that our hot glue gun is done heating, I am just going to overlap this string. For me it's about an inch, so that I can still get it on my wrist. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it. So I'm just going to do this in sections, taking a little bit of glue at a time. Grabbing my boa and carefully placing it onto the center of the ribbon. Here is this finished product. I think it's absolutely adorable. You can also push it up if you need to. So using the exact same technique, I did this on a black scrunchie. As you can see here, 
Um, it does kind of bunch up a little bit, but I think it's absolutely adorable when you put it on. You just have to rearrange it to your liking. And here are some examples of this scrunchie boa in my hair. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to pounce on that like button and hit subscribe. See you next time. Have a wonderfully perfect day.